everyone and thank you once again for joining me on a shell finding adventure. The first shell today, I've just spotted it. Isn't that lovely? Oh my god. I did learn the common name for these. I think it's a leaded Mitra. Very, very nice. I don't find too many of them. So wow, what a great way to start my day off with. And kind of sort of, but not really right next to it is our first cowrie today. There we go, it looks like a very old Stolita cowrie. It's lost its, uh, its blue color and its brown spots on top. As well as right there, we have the first crown cone today. Ooh, that one looks like it could be a nice one. Oh, one for the limpet lovers at home. Look at this adorable little guy. There we go, just got a very nice looking colorful limpet today. I think their common name is just Common Limpet, you know? Very, very cute and lovely. What did I spot down here? There it is, this one. Ooh, yes! That is a lovely little zebra volute. Look at it, it's all intact and it's got a knobbly little cream tip. Yes, I do like that one. Ooh, what's that one? That looks like a very large snakehead. My goodness, it is a big boy snakehead. A wave just came by, but right under that water down there, I think I saw an Arabian or an Eglantina. Gosh, I hope it didn't get washed away. All right, it seems like we got a bit of a break. Oh, let's grab it. Oh, bother, where did that Eglantina go? There it is, there it is. Oh, it's the one I saw, yes. Woo, it is an Arabian, there we go. Oh my goodness, that one looks quite worn away. Woo, but always very happy to get myself an Arabian. Well, I just saw a Mr. Krabby with a very pretty home. Let's just check him out real quick. O-M-G. Mr. Krabby has himself a very, very nice, uh, what is it called? It's a frog shell, a granulated frog shell. My goodness, the crabs always find the best homes, I swear. Anyway, we will put him right back down where I got him from. There you go, Mr. Krabby. Thank you very much for letting me check out your shell. Well, my, 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 do you guys think that the, uh, the Captain Cone is whole? Let's take a look. I'm gonna push it from its like thick end. Ooh, it does look whole. Is it occupied? It's, ooh, it's whole. Ooh, it is just rocks in there. Oh, I'm sorry for my camera work. There we go. Oh my goodness, I always love Captain Cones. That is a super cool find. Awesome, I went so long without even finding one and I'm just finding heaps in the last month or two now. That's just a very cute little crowned cone. Oh, he's not stuck. Oh, oh he's empty, yes. Very nice. Oh, I like the pattern on that one. I like when they're um, like a, either a very dark color or either a very light color because they're always a bit different than the regular pink colors. Oh, right down there. Oh, the waves are coming. I see an Arosa, the first Arosa for the day. Let's, oh, the waves didn't come. Okay, let's try to grab it out. Oh gosh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. This one, this one. There we go. Got myself a lovely Arosa cowrie. Oh, I see possibly a nice big moon snail. Let's grab that one out. Ooh, stretch, stretch. Stretch. Oh my God, I thought I was not gonna make it. Woo, there we go. Oh, that is actually a very nice moon snail. Woo, yeah, got some nice cream color on that one. Oh my goodness, do you guys see what I see down there? No, it's not the big rock shell and it's not the moon snail. It's possibly the second intact captain. Intact captain. Intact captain. Ooh, there's something under there. Ooh, I better be quick. I better be quick. I better be quick. Ooh, first sign of trouble. Yank my hand out. Ooh, ooh, it is. Is it? Is it? Oh, it is intact. Yes. Look at how weeny teeny tiny it is. It's the second intact Captain Cone for the day. What is happening? I spent so long wishing for a Captain Cone and never finding one. And now I'm getting a whole bunch. And that is awesome. I'm not unhappy. I'm not complaining. I'm very, very happy. Oh, that looks like an extra large moon snail. Grab him out. 
Ooh, that, ooh. <laughs> oh, the rocks falling on my fingers did startle me for a second. Yep, that is a very, very nice moon snail. Wow, the point of it's got like a really, really deep color on it. Very cool. Oh, what's this one? What's that? Pop of color, what are you? Oh, up we go. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at that one. This might count as some kind of micro shell. Um, not sure what it is though. I'm guessing a Mitra of some kind. Oh, it's got lovely like little like textured um, striations on it. It's very cool. I don't think I've got one like that before. I'll have to try to find out its name. Now, before I check whatever is on the sand for some kind of mini goodies, let's have a little look at the other side of the lighthouse because there's a honey hole over there and the waves are not scary today, so I think we might find some good things over there. How dare you, Rackline? I'm trying to get to the other side of the lighthouse, but... <laughs> oh, I can't help myself when there's a clandestine. Just gotta pick it up, you know? Gosh, that is a nice big one as well. Well, I just got to this side of the lighthouse and uh, the favorite spot is kind of over there. But before that, oh my goodness, what did I spot? Arabian number two. Yes, oh wow, it actually had bubbles in it. It must have just washed up. Ooh, got lots of rattly stuff in it. Oh my goodness, this one looks to be in even better condition than the first one I got. I think it will go a little bit white in the sun. It's got a bit of white there, but wow, what a pretty shell to find over here. I thought for sure there wouldn't be anything too crazy. Well, nothing is really jumping out at me right off the bat here, but how about you guys? You guys spot anything good down here? I think I might pick up this, um, this little top shell. It looks pretty nice. Ooh, backing up, backing up. <laughs> what up? Ooh, wow, that one's very orange. They get like more orange when they wear away, I guess. So this one might be like a little bit older or maybe it's just like, that's how they grow. I'm going, ooh, what up? <laughs> you know, even though it's low tide, I might have to give up on this spot for today. Oh, when it gets up to my shins, that's a definite sign that it's time to give up on the spot. Okay, bye. Oh, in there, that's kind of a cool zebra shell. Are you occupied? Oh, no, nope, you're empty. Yeah, these things are pretty cool. They're a little bit common, but gosh, I always like seeing them when they're uh, unoccupied. They have like a gajillion different patterns they can get, so they're all very unique and cool. Well, oh my goodness, guys, do you see it too? I was originally looking at this little triton shell. I think he's occupied. Uh, yep, that's a little crabby in there. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Crabby. And before I was about to walk away, I cast my eyes up and I saw this one. What? Is that the third Arabian today? Are you occupied? I don't think you are. Oh, definitely empty. Ooh. Look at that one. Wow, the bottom on that is fantastic. I've never seen such a dark one. Wow. I mean, the top of it is kind of nice. It's okay. It's a little bit rough, if I'm being honest, but goodness. That's the best bottom I've ever seen on an Arabian. Wow. So these two are the first two Arabians I found today. And this is what their bottoms are supposed to look like. They're supposed to be like cream colored with some like darker brown and black around the edges. And uh, this one that I just found, like, oh my goodness, look at how dark that is. I am super crazy happy with that one. <laughs> Look, you can kind of see a paw print and that's how it exposed the scallop. Oh my goodness, I walked past here earlier and I didn't see that. Awesome, so thank you to whoever's dog unearthed that scallop for me. Well, I must admit I was very happy to find two Arabians on the other side of the lighthouse and I was almost satisfied and thought, oh, I don't need to go micro shelling now, but but I want to go micro shelling. So if you want to see some micro shells, please stick around and let's get into it. Oh my God, I am so glad I came back to do some micro shelling over this side. <laughs> Lucky Matty. <laughs> I have oh, the micro shellers dream, the donkey cowrie. I don't find too many of them, although I have been quite lucky with some cracked ones lately. I always love these guys, so yes, super stoked with this one. Wow. 
Oh yes, micro shelling treasure number two. Whoa, look at that sundial shell. It's so white. I've never seen such a white one before. I'm not sure if it's like sun bleach or if it's supposed to be this white. My goodness, it's an adorable little one. And as always, there are just so many little pheasant shells on the rack line, as always. Number two, not counting the ones that I may or may not have picked up off camera. There's a third one there. Seriously, you could sit down in one spot and pick up like 20 of them easily. Whew, it's no wonder I like to fill jars with them. Well, we've got, what's this one? Is it whole? Oh, it is whole. Oh, wow, that is a very nice Arosa Cowrie. Oh, I definitely like that one. It's all dry and it already looks nice. And what originally caught my eye to begin with, it's just a very, very big bean trivia. There we go. He's a lovely little guy. Oh, yes. Look at that one in the sand. Oh, well, he's got a bit of a break. Ooh, you know, I'm not quite sure what that one is. He's got a, quite a bit of a, of a long little tail there. Even though he's a bit broken, I still kind of like it. This one, this one. <laughs> oh, I do like finding these. I just call them chevron clams. I don't know if they actually have a real name. They probably do. Very cute. This one's got a very interesting pattern. There we go. Another clandestine cowrie. Ooh, yeah, don't mind that one. It looks pretty good. Not too faded, I don't think. It still looks very nice and orangey brown on top. Well, right after that clandestine, before I jumped away, I happened to see this one. Wow, that looks like a very nice Labralinata. Ah, uh, the yellow tinted cowrie, of course. Awesome, very cool. Oh, look at that one. Wow. That's a cool pattern on that dude. It's some kind of dove shell. Um, there, are, there are some different kinds of dove shells, so I'm not really sure which one right now, but goodness, that is a very cool pattern on it. Ooh, right there. Now, ooh, yes, I thought it was a bean trivia, but I've been told that these white ones with like the more of a curved smiley face mouth are a different type of trivia shell, not, not a bean trivia. I kind of get confused looking at them, to be honest. It's some kind of like glob, globosa trivia. So I'm just gonna call these ones glob trivias, if I can remember. Ooh, right there, look at that one. Oh, wow. Oh wow, I've seen this kind of like shell shape in the micro shell piles, like like I found a very red version of this one before. But oh my goodness, I've never seen one that big. It's very, very impressive. Oh my goodness, so here are the shell finds for today and if you've enjoyed them, please, as always, hit that like button and maybe subscribe to see more. But for now, oh how do I even pick a favourite? You know what? Make sure you let me know your favorites down in the comments as well. Oh my goodness, everyone. There was just so many amazing shells. I really like both of these captain cones. I've called this one um, Jean-Luc and this one is James Tiberius. So if you did understand those naming references, then uh, congratulations, you are exactly my type of people. <laughs> I also found a lovely little sand dial, a lovely donkey cowrie, and a lovely loaded Mitra. I'm probably forgetting a whole bunch of other lovelies, but my favorite today, without a doubt, is this Arabian, purely because it is absolutely lovely on the bottom. The top isn't too bad either. It's not like gem or anything, but yeah, it didn't turn white like I feared, so it's looking pretty good. But oh my goodness, a black-bottomed Arabian. He's like the emo of the Arabian world, so I've been calling him Edgelord in my mind. So um, today, Edgelord is my favorite shell. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.